So here's a story with a lesson to learn. Recently I heard that uh, AOL Instant Messenger, AIM, uh, is being discontinued. Surprise. <laughs> you know, it's been around for 20 years. Well, back in the late 90s, mid 90s, um, you know, AIM was very popular and all my friends were using it. So I wanted to, you know, use it to chat with my friends. Well, I didn't have my own computer at the time. In fact, the only computer we had beside an old DOS computer in our house was my sister's computer, which she bought with her own money, but she let me use, which was very nice. So I get on there and I download AOL Instant Messenger and I installed it and it required a reboot, required a reboot, probably really didn't need it, but rebooted. And when it rebooted, instead of going into Windows, we got a error message and the computer would just stop booting. So I'm like, oh no, you know, I've destroyed my sister's computer. So uh, I called my dad in the room. I said, look, it won't boot. What did you do? Oh, I tried installing this program. All my friends are using it. So my dad got on and called tech support for whatever brand of computer. I think it was Gateway. He called Gateway and they asked what we were trying to install. And I said, oh, I was trying to install this chat room so I could talk. And the person on the phone, the tech support, says, oh, well, you don't install chat rooms. You just go to them, which... At the time was was fairly true you in the back of the day he would go to a chat room and I don't know if a lot of you remember this chat rooms at the time you go in there and the page didn't auto refresh you would see the conversation and uh, when you sent a message the page refreshed or you'd have to click refresh to see the conversation keep going obviously uh, AOL instant messenger was a little bit better than this um, but the tech support was like oh no you don't install chat rooms obviously what you did was was you're, you're doing it wrong you know and my dad got all mad at me that i shouldn't be trying to install something eventually they hung up on tech support because they weren't helping and uh i don't remember why my, my dad left so i decided to do something it would seem obvious but it's not to a lot of people turn the computer back on wait for the error message to come up and you know what i did i read the error message <laughs> and the error message said something, 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 unable to boot because of error in this configuration file. Remove this line or something like that. So I booted into safe mode, went to that file, deleted that line or modified the line, whatever it said. It's been 20 years. I don't really remember. Rebooted and the computer booted fine. And that seems really obvious. But even in today, I... I talk to people they have problems with their computer and they go oh, I'm getting an error and when I go to check it I read the error I go well this is the problem they're like how do you know that I go well I read the error message and, and you know and I understand some error messages especially on a Windows machine don't make sense it just says error at this and it gives you some you know error number uh, but a lot of programs will tell you what's wrong and if you read it usually you can fix it by doing what it says so that's the lesson to be learned Go ahead, when you get an error on your computer, on your phone, whatever, you should read the error message because it's probably telling you something you should know. That's a lesson to be learned. Thanks for watching, and always, eh, as always, have a great day.